Hi, guys. I'm Gunita. Do you hear me? Yeah. Hi, guys. I'm Gunita. I'm the founder of Vividly and also an architect. And I truly believe what we are needs is a design. And design can really change the virtual reality. Why I'm saying that is because I'm tired of actually explaining that VR is more than just the heavy infrastructure and heavy gadgets and a lot of resources invested that actually lack to uh, deliver the experience. It's enough of that. We with Vividly are really standing for the rich and juicy experiences. And we want to allow millions of 3D users to have a fast track access to rich and juicy VR. How do we do that? We use the WebGL technology based on the SaaS subscription model. User subscribes, logs in, drags and drops his 3D model from various formats that we support. Then you have this unique ability to stylize, to, to uh, customize your immersive signature in the web VR. And uh, on, on top of that, you have your experience in a form of a URL that you can share, embed, and it's every device agnostic. So you can present it on the web, on the mobile VR, or just plug in your Oculus and go in the fully immersive experience. Well, we like to call it a sort of like Instagram for 3D in VR, uh, but instead of just a visual filter, you have a story or narrative to apply, which is combined from other compounds as sound, animation, and shaders. So just to break it down, we want to make the virtual reality and the disimmersive experiences accessible, lightweight, and appealing with WebGL technology, with the smooth and flawless user experience, and this branding or, let's say, styling opportunity in the web. So our closed beta users have already found an application in industries such as urban planning, architecture design, and as well the digital design. And on top of that, we are seeing that the immersive worlds are moving in such a fast pace that the users are adding every day. The immersive web, the VR visualizations, um, the other kind of APIs that we can sell to the other DIY uh, web design tools. So we have already gained the uh, trust of uh, quite established brands, that, and we operate from uh, Baltic states to the, to the UK and even the whole world with some of the organizations. We have tech support from Samsung Leap Motion as well in Oculus, and we have just launched two pilots with the uh, art slash architecture universities. Yeah, that all because of the team that is young and striving professionals combining architectural and uh, strategic design background with the tech and branding strategies already listed under Forbes uh, 30 under 30, stepped on the TEDx stage and accelerated in the great startup sauna. And uh, thank you, Gunita. It's and time this is to what move we are to looking the for. questions. Hello. Uh, so is the goal to replace other tools or do you need to integrate with existing tools and if so what would you integrate with so um, or, the, or if you replace what would you replace then uh, basically we replace the heavy uh, game engines that uh, like unity like unreal but what we provide is basically a trade-off between your like input data and the output performance for the different kind of devices so yeah, now uh, users can use Unity Unreal, but most of the, let's say, the, the market, the solo um, uh, and small companies have a, quite a lot of like investment in that or have to pass through the learning curve to you know, obtain the knowledge of these heavy infrastructure softwares. So that's what I'm saying, a fast track to kind of the stylized and juicy web VR experiences. Um, what, what's the business plan? Sorry, I, I didn't see the business plan. Um, web is quite interesting uh, space at the moment. So as I said, we see the quite a big need in the urban planning and architecture and uh, 3D design. At the moment, we have narrowed down to the parametric design. So the first thing we're going to test as the business model is a simple SaaS. Uh, model, which is in three packages, and from that on, we we see that 
probably we could also uh, base the model in future in the a selling API to the web design tools, if we can say so, as Squarespace, as uh, Wix, others that want to actually drag in this audience of like that is working in the immersive and the 3D world. Could you speak a little bit more about the raise and what you plan to do with the money? Once again? What do you plan to do with the money and yeah. speak more to the raise? So uh, we really need to um, focus more of the product market fit and kind of find what our users are feeling, how they feel like this business really rolling. Um, combining that with how the immersive world is moving, we really need the collaborations with like Facebook and Google, like a really tight collaborations. We now have a good contact because the web VR community is quite narrow, but we need our all the users actually to be to see vividly in that different way in the walls in the browsers in Instagram and in Pinterest and Facebook um, yeah community building and the monetization is the business model that you addressed so how does this work like how do they pay do they want volumetric or subscription or license or API this all is under testing that needs the resource Cool, thanks. And can you just tell me a bit more about you and the team and sort of what's your background and why you're positioned to, to do this? Yeah, uh, two of the team members are coming from architectural background, me personally as well in uh, strategic design. And I, I believe that's a quite uh, interesting uh, perspective that we bring in because immersive space is a sort of architectural mindset. Uh, we have the branding strategies, therefore we really vividly has built already the strong brand within the community and is recognized in the, in the VR landscape. And immersive technologies is uh, developed by, by Aris, our lead developer, who's like been building the Kinect and all the immersive projects for startups all over the world. So there are four core members, and then we work a lot with other creative industries, which we feel very inspiring, with like illustrators, scenographers, and all the others who could add this storytelling to the VR and help us to build that as a, as a great tool for a wider audience. And uh, thank you, Gunita. It's time to thank move you. on to the next startup. Thank you, Vivid.